here I'll show a few quick tips for preparing a model for SCS 900. So here I have imported an alignment and some design strings and from those design strings I have created a surface uh, which looks good yeah, for a lot of it but we have some other areas that are, are less than desired. Uh, a couple of things that we're going to look at is first of all we see here that we have some strings with very little geometry defined so these strings are dead straight with just a point defined at either end and so if we have these kind of strings in our data uh, what we can do in project settings under computation surface we can specify to sample a string at a minimum distance so by default business center will sample the string where the definition or where the the points are along the string but we can choose to sample it at intervals along the string even if there's no points to find so here we can see that it's now sampled those strings at a minimum of every five meters um, this allows us to create detailed models with strings with minimal geometry defined which is going to keep file size down so the next thing we're going to do is have a look at the properties of this surface and in the properties we can see here that we can associate a horizontal alignment. So I'm going to choose the horizontal alignment and I'm going to specify that this is alignment based. And what we see now is that the triangulation is forced to form perpendicular to the alignment, which gives us much better uh, definition down those batters it's going to correspond with uh, the cross sections or the templates that were used originally in the design. The last thing that we want to do to tidy this model up in preparation is trim surface edges. And to trim surface edges, we simply click an outside point and inside point. It's automatically going to stop trimming triangles when it hits a break line, so we can quite simply and quickly go through and trim all that excess triangulation away. Now, it is possible, obviously, to import a design or a design surface from a, another package. One of the things to keep in mind uh, is that if we're creating or exporting to SES 900 a road surface, that is, we want it to be a sort of a corridor or get cross sections in the field with SES 900. If we create the surface in Business Center when exporting to SES 900, the software understands that this surface has been defined by the strings. So our cross section will be defined by string to string and the string name, string names will be adopted as node names in the cross section. If we use a surface that has been imported, uh, there's no correlation between the string data and the surface. So a cross section in SES 900 will be a slice of the tin and nodes will appear every time it crosses a triangle all right so that will include the di triangles the diagonals on the triangles will also appear as nodes and none of those nodes will have any names all right so if we've prepared the surface with those couple of things and we're happy to export it to export to SCS 900 we use the field data menu first of all we need to set up a job site so we're going to create a job site here. I'll call it uh, site one. We're going to choose what controllers we want to put it on. In this case, I'm just going to assign it to my SCS 900 emulator. And we can define here control points and site map. I'm interested in just the design side here, so I'm not going to define the site. The next step, I'm going to go and create a design in this case MCOFL I'm also going to assign that to we see only one controller because there's only one controller associated with this project so there's only one controller available so we have three definitions of data for a design for SCS 900 or for GCS we have the model or the surface set out points and design map so model we can see we have a number of options here so our surface will just provide the tin an alignment just the alignment we're going to go with road surface 
So it's us use that surface. And because we associated in the properties, the alignment, the alignment is already included here. If we hadn't associated that in the properties, we would have to choose the alignment at, at this stage. Uh, we have a default file name, which is the design name followed by the surface name. In this case, they're both the same. So I'm going to, in the custom name, just remove the duplicate. It doesn't matter. The operator won't see that. The operator will only see the design name you've defined. So that's our surface defined. The next part we want to do is the design map. So this is what the operator will be able to see uh, in his plan view and what strings he'll be able to select if he wants to do set out on those. I'll just turn the sur surface off. Uh, we're going to use the add and remove tool. So I'm going to select everything and click add. Uh, I don't need to add the alignment because the alignment was included in the previous stage. It was included with the surface definition. If there is a 3D string that happens to correspond with the alignment, you probably don't need to add that either, is it'll be a, a double up, a duplicate, because right? the alignment is already there. In this case, we see that the string it, uh, is a different definition anyway. So I do want to include that. If there was something I wanted to remove, um, I could simply choose that other object, choose remove, then we get a constant update. If at any stage you're unsure on what you've defined, back here you can choose select and it will highlight everything that you've defined. Uh, if you change your mind, it's simply a case of going back to the add remove, select or, and add or remove whichever additional strings you want to define. Okay, so that's done um, and that data has been generated and assigned to your SCS 900, or to my case, my SCS 900 emulator. Uh, that data will be written out to this particular file location and under that particular controller. If that controller is defined to sync, it will sync automatically via USB. You can publish it or sync it to TCC. Uh, you see back in field data here, we can access Office Synchronizer and sync that directly via USB. We can sync to TCC, publish it, um, or choose to email that data. Or you can browse manually to that folder location that we saw previously and manually copy it over.